Hello and welcome. I want to talk to you vaguely, not a complete walkthrough, about Geronimo triggering an evacuation and flying monkey business where they fall on a banana. That'll net you 6,000 mastery points. Remember that when you do one of these challenges, if you save it before, you can do the challenge and then reload before you did something and you can continue on. So if you wanted to make one of the targets slip on that banana, but then after that you wanted to assassinate him a certain way, reload before you made him slip, and you're going to get everything that you did once you fully complete the challenge. A lot of people don't know this. I'm going to start from here because I think this is actually a spot in the game where you eventually end up. I don't remember. So get yourself to the third floor. Now how you get here, I mean that's... You know, that would be a full walkthrough. Get yourself to about where I'm at here because we're going to be heading to that security room. There's a banana and there's a key that we need. Very important. Plus, if you don't already have the outfit that I have on, which is the best in the game, it gives you the highest level of security. You're up the, uh, you know, the shit creek. just because I can. So he's going to end up running off there. To check that out. Go ahead and take him out. Grab his body. At this point, you probably don't have his outfit. Come in here. Grab the hammer. That guy behind us just stays there. I've never seen him do anything. But we're just going to go and take him out because he's in the way. Now there's a couple of people in here. That guy over there sees through your bullshit. He knows what's up, just like the guy we just took out. This guy's just going to stand like right around there. We're going to wait a moment before he turns around. Actually, we don't have to because that guy's not there. Make sure you use your, uh, your instinct often. Now, there's a key card here that's important to grab. The penthouse key. Go ahead and grab that. As much as possible, if you can cover your tracks, that would be greatly appreciated. Grab the second penthouse keycard, because, you know, you need two of them. Dump this guy in here. There, let me get that itch for you. Crouch down, because that guy could end up coming back. There's a banana right there. Very, very important. Grab your knife. Pick up the loot. We're going to shove this guy back in here. Now that we cleaned up our mess, except for the gigantic puddle of blood, come over to this little safe here. 69. 27. Grab yourself an evacuation keycard. Now we're going to backtrack. We're going to go up here. I know that I've already unlocked it, but... You're going to come in here. Remember, there's a few people that can see through your bullshit. We're going to go through here. Go through here. Careful, there's a guard that patrols over here that can see through your bullshit again. So I just wanted to show you that. Overlooking over there, the balcony, that's where we're going to be doing the uh, evacuation with the banana slip. Remember to look out for him.
This is also where you can do another challenge, but that's going to be another video. <laughs> Go ahead and whip it out. Pull out the banana. Now, watch my fingers here. Not the trigger fingers like in Call of Duty when you're aiming and shooting. The top two buttons here. Push them at the same time. What do you notice? That there's like a gray ghost banana. It's the ghost banana. And if you point it on the ground, you'll see that you're actually able to place the banana. Don't just toss it on the ground. It's not going to work. And I want you to be kind of like, you know, sort of like right there-ish. And it goes and it splits the banana. So kind of like put it, generally speaking, around there. Kind of be careful with her too. If she turns around and sees you doing some stuff... She'll go ahead and pick up the banana. You don't want her to do that. You don't want her to touch your banana. You really don't. You peeled it yourself. You don't need her doing it as well. Now that we've set up our banana, we're going to run in. And we're going to use our instinct. We're going to carefully make sure that we don't have people that can see through our disguise. And you're also going to look for that bar here. See that bar? You actually have to use your access card here. Very quickly. So when you're here... You're going to peek around here. Careful, that guy behind you knows what you're doing. Now, this doesn't trigger any security concerns as far as I know. But you have to be so bloody fast. I mean, you got to be so fast, you don't even understand. Whoops. Now, here's what's going to happen. I feel like this is the part of the video where I just kind of get to sit back and explain a couple of things as the things happen. Your two targets, right? They're going to end up going to the helicopter, but they're not actually going to evacuate there. Use your instinct and you'll see. Keep an eye out at the top right for that uh, challenge as well. A reminder that if you have the exploding golf ball, you know, that's another thing that you can do too, right? You can save before you do the evacuation. But like I said, that's for another video. These two go hand in hand. They automatically trigger one another. Now, what you can technically do at this point is... Wait until you do the evacuation first. Have them start running in a pair like that. Then go out and place your banana. Peel it in front of her. Jab it in the ground. But save the game before you jab it in the ground. And I say that because... What if you screw up? But also have an additional save. Their last chance is by parachute. Make sure that have another save as well before you even trigger the evacuation. Because once you start it, you can't cancel it. And like I said, if you want to do that exploding golf ball thing called Angry Birdie, remember, you got to make use of your time when you're doing challenges. I made a video on that today. You can drown someone. Uh, save before you drown them. Save. Drown them. Reload before you drown them. Choke them reload before you did all that throw them over a balcony right so that's why i'm mentioning that that's why it's really really important now there's two of them i only placed one banana they say to place two bananas there's going to be some people that can see through your outfit here 
Or at least there was one. I did it. For some reason... Here. Clear. Over. Let's do it. We're in position. Everybody watch your I want no watch him. Watch right there. And he fell. You see that? He fell on his ass. Did you see that? He fell. He's just laying there like an idiot. Obviously, nothing popped for me. Oh my god, that just gave me vertigo. But there you have it. So they fall, and then obviously the mission's going to fail here. But it doesn't matter if it fails. This is also where you can try to snipe them, or kill them, whatever, while they're parachuting. That's another challenge. But again, like I said, for the sake of this video, which it's just a little over 10 minutes, that's not too, too bad. That's actually a lot better than I want. Than I expected. I wanted this to be five minutes, but, okay. Now, see how it failed? But if you saw your two things go ching-ching, evacuation, Geronimo, right? Ching-ching, banana split, and you failed, well, load to before you did all that, now go about your business, do some other stuff, you're still going to end up getting all those challenges. But you have to complete the mission, obviously. So it's kind of like your challenges are pending in the cloud, if you will. Because this game is online and you got to be connected online to do the challenges. It's almost like it's waiting there in limbo. And it's just waiting for you to do your thing. And once you figure out what you want to do, and you've done everything that you can, go ahead, finish the mission properly. And that's it. So if you liked the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, go ahead, give it a thumbs down. I'll break it off in your ass and I'll make sure that when you're out there, you end up being attached to them. You're parachuted with them and you die. If you want to subscribe to the channel, that would be great. And if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care. Maybe I'll see you in the next video. Comment down below if you do need a hand like, hey, how do I get to, you know, level three or how do I get that outfit that you got on? I just can't seem to get one. I can do my best to try and help you. I just wanted to show you the gist of it, and you already saw how long this video is. If this was a complete walkthrough, it would have been twice as long, and there's no way anybody would have watched the whole video. Until next time, bye for now.